300,000 years ago, our home planet looked much the same as it does today, featuring the same sun, moon, and even oceans. But beyond those familiar sights, Earth 300,000 years ago would have felt like a completely different planet. For starters, vast swaths of land were covered in tall grasses, giving way to dense forests and open plains that stretched as far as the eye could see. Towering trees created a thick canopy overhead, filtering out the sunlight and keeping the forest floor in a state of perpetual dimness. The air would have been heavy with the scent of pine, damp earth, and decaying vegetation. And then there were the animals, mammoths, saber-toothed cats, and giant bison-shaped entire ecosystems, shaping the landscape with their immense size and imposing presence. These creatures roamed free across the planet, their footsteps leaving deep imprints in the soft mud. Humanity as we know it had only just begun. Around this time, early Homo sapiens emerged in Africa, but they weren't alone. Other humans like the Neanderthals in Europe and Denisovans in Asia were our contemporaries sharing this world with us. These groups lived in small bands, constantly on the move to hunt, gather and scavenge for food. Their days were spent tracking prey or searching for berries and nuts, and their nights were filled with the sounds of the forest, the crackling of fires and the murmur of voices telling stories. These early humans crafted tools from stone, wood and bone, each strike and scrape a testament to their ingenuity. Fire was their most potent discovery, providing warmth against the harsh elements, a sense of safety and a platform for cultural expression. Around campfires, early humans shared stories, songs and knowledge, laying the foundation for what would one day become human civilization. But perhaps what made Earth 300,000 years ago feel like a different planet was the climate. During this period, large parts of the planet were gripped by ice ages. The cold, dry conditions shaped the landscape, forcing animals to migrate, adapt or perish. Sea levels were lower than today, exposing vast stretches of land that connected continents. Deserts expanded and shrank, and great migrations of humans and animals ensued. In this world of extremes, survival was a daily challenge but it also pushed human intelligence and creativity to new heights. Without writing, agriculture or technology, early humans thrived. They painted on cave walls, crafted simple jewelry and developed complex social structures. They were explorers, storytellers and survivors. So when we say Earth 300,000 years ago was like a different planet, it's because the world was raw, wild and untamed. And yet from those harsh beginnings came the resilience, curiosity and ingenuity that made us who we are today. Now it's your turn. Which part of that ancient world fascinates you most, the giant animals, the climate challenges, or the early humans discovering fire? Share your thoughts in the comments. And hey, don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this journey through time. Thanks for watching.